come back on Jake and we can head down here take on more Komodo birds. Why? Why Komodo birds? Why so many? Damn it, why'd you... How, when did you get a chance to spawn that guy? And uh, we tangled it, uh, which is what the boomerang does, if I remember correctly. Just slows it down, really. And then Thunderbolt and Lightning. It's very, very frightening. We need to take these guys out. Stop casting Lightning on Yonze. Okay, I actually need to heal now. I don't have a choice, which sucks. I don't like healing outside of boss battles. Like I said, I want to save all my magic for the boss battles. In fact, screw it. We're leaving. No, we're not leaving. We're, we're taking this guy out. <laughs> I forgot where we were. We need to finish off the fucking kimono bird. There we go. Kimono bird down. Finish the hedgehogs off. Fucking pebblers. Why, are they, why aren't they called Sonics? Like, seriously. These guys should be called Sonics. They're clearly uh, hedgehogs slash porcupines that are blue. They're close enough. It's freaking Sonic. I guess you just don't want to do it for copyright reasons. But I think we all know what's going on here. Uh, now, I do actually want to make sure I am prepared before we head in here. Give me just one second. Okay, I did heal, and I set everybody back on the highest level gauge. Let's head up here. For boss time, we are up against the... That is not what I wanted to do, and you know it. We are up against the Great Viper. We need to start using some high-level magics here. We need to use Thunderbolt in particular, because that is what the beast is used to. Now, um, you want to stay as far away from the freaking thing as possible, unfortunately, because it has a status effect on its normal attack, which is pygmy. It will pygmy you. And for those of you that don't remember what pygmy does, and unfortunately I'm already out of my freaking magic. This is why magic I want to save as much as possible. Um, so let's go for that air blast and hit it for 91. That is not going to cut it. Uh, Pygmy will cut your attack greatly. It also cuts your magic attack um, by half. So yeah, that's fun. I believe you actually need to hit its head. Gem missile level 5, are you kidding me? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. That. Whoa. Okay. Heal. Now you need to. God, use candy. Unfortunately, since I'm out of magic, it's pretty much um, just hoping and praying at this point. <laughs> since this guy is quite a huge ass troll, uh, what you're supposed to do is. Are you kidding me? He just got, like, fucking five criticals in a row. That is ridiculous. Okay, let's bring Yancy back. <laughs> God. Uh, what you're supposed to do is chain. I've never been good at chaining. Uh, what that is, is uh, while he's hit with the, uh, the magic, you're supposed... Uh, to use the level 2, level 3 attack on him. However, um, because I only have, you know, just me doing this, that becomes very, very difficult. If you have three people, that becomes relatively easy. Uh, you just need to coordinate. When it's just me, it's damn near impossible. So I've never been good at chaining, but that is the general idea of it. How the hell did you get pygmy eyes? You weren't even attacked! God. Hit the freaking thing. How are you guys- What? You guys aren't even charging! Damn it! Jake's been pygmized. That is- Whoa. That is no good. Okay. Heal across the board. Everybody is pygmied. Uh, we at least want Jake back. We need to use that in order to get rid of that. Is magic- Magic, curing magic isn't half, so it's just the attack magic that's half. 
Ugh, look at that. Okay, their defense goes way down. That That's it. When they're pigmized, it's just, it's just their defense sucks. You guys, you guys aren't even bothering to charge. Like, seriously, why do I even bother with you guys? Fine, I will charge. All by myself. Leveling up to level 3. All by myself. You guys could just die in a fire for all I care then. Just... And down he goes. Jeez. Doesn't look like she don't get any ex Oh, she comes back, so she still gets the experience. Down goes the Great Viper. We don't get the music, though. But we have reached level 20 on Jake. We also got the Swords Orb. Very, very nice. So the Viper is down. That was not an easy fight. Of course, I wasted my wild magic at the very beginning. But like I said, it's all about the chains that you're supposed to get. But I struggle with them. The idea being that you never let the enemy get up, uh, more or less. You never let them get a shot in. And that can be quite, uh, quite hard to do. Even with multiple people. Here is the dragon! We have found the white dragon! How you doing, buddy? This is the legendary white dragon! It is the music change, therefore it must be true. Its parents must have been beaten by that serpent. Can I have the baby dragon? It won't make it if we leave it here. Oh, come on, Xiong, can I keep it? It's way too big for us to carry. Let's ask Truffle. Do I actually have to go back? Are you going to send me back there? They send me back. Very nice. And it magically appears. He'll only slow you down. So I'll raise him. K King Truffle! Quiet, you! <laughs> I've got good news! <laughs> you three get going. I'll take good care of him. By the way, how do you like the name Flammy? I'm actually going to... They're not even going to let me keep... To choose, actually. I don't think I chose. Hang on, I sound like an idiot. You'd agree with me whether you like the name or not. Yeah, they're not going to give you the choice. So let's call him Flemmy and be done with it. Cannon travel is open again in the forest to the south. You'll find the fire palace somewhere in the desert of Kakara. So we have done it. Uh, we have rescued a dragon. Um, I don't know if that was everything that we needed to do, but we have gotten the mana seed, which was definitely important. So I do need to, well, I need to rest at the inn. I need to purchase more items. I need to go to Watts. I will meet you when I have done all of that. Okay, I have done everything that I need to do. Purchased all the items that I need. Reset everybody on the action grid. Well, their level gauge, I should say. Uh, we have also upgraded the sword. It is now a claymore. Healed, saved, purchased all the items. We are done here in the upper land. We have really nothing else that we can do here. Unfortunately, it's just kind of a long trek back the way that we came. And I know you're like, well, Yonsei's town, yeah, Yonsei's town is pretty much wiped out, but doesn't seem much to be much we could do about that. We need to head out of here. We need to go back to the cannon, just like we were told. However, we are not actually going to the place where uh, where King Truffle told us to go. Uh, we do need to go to that fireplace eventually. I believe it was Kokara or Kokora, something like that. Uh, we will head there. Just not right now. Uh, now would be a bad time to go there. There is somewhere else that we need to go first. Uh, once we get to the cannon, I will show you what I mean. Damn it! Damn yo gnome magic! It is powerful! That is why... Oh, Yancey reaches level 20! Very, very nice. So, it looks like Xion actually did miss on the experience from the boss fight. Uh, since Yancey leveled up before Xion. That is new. Uh, however, uh, Xion did get the uh, level 3 on the claws, so I don't think there's actually anything else that Xion can work on. However, I do not like her being on the claws, so she's going to be on the spear. Makes sense to me. It's, got, it's definitely got more range. I'm not sure if the spear has more range than the sword, but it's definitely got more range than the sword or than the the nox. That that's for sure. The freaking Moogle claws—they don't even show up. And 
There, Xion reaches level 20, so not that much experience, to be honest with you, was missed out on by Xion. We have already killed everything here, so we just... Did I go in, like, a fucking circle here? Like, before? I think I did. Because here is the cannon travel. Uh, that happened a lot faster than I thought it would. Uh, yeah, he'll send me flying. We can either go to Kakara, uh, or the ice country those are our two options we were told to go here go here it is far better gets pretty cold up there just slide into the cannon why do you make it sound so creepy it's probably just the way that i said it probably is the, the reason that it sounded so creepy let's go cannon travel is safe in this game i don't know what we land on i've always wondered that but we get launched nonetheless and we're headed for the North Pole there seemed to be some kind of castle there too and now we're in a town full of walruses walry this is Toto village it's growing unbearably warm so there's your answer we don't we just land in the middle of nothing and somehow we don't die I'm starved good for you uh, what do we... They're not gonna tell me what that is, but there is a snowman right there. That's always nice. There's a strange old man in the ice forest. Surely that is not important for anything. The paradise is hidden in the crystal forest. Surely we will never have to go there either. Anything that anybody ever talks about in RPGs, you will have to go to, or do, or kill, or save. And hey! We have found what? Yet again, I don't have anything for him to do, but what, what do you have to say about getting here so damn fast? What kept you? What and powered up? Everything is uh, full. You can see because they're all gray. But how the hell did you get up here, what? That is my question. I'm the town's blacksmith. Who's this creep? That is a good question. Why is he keep following us? <laughs> what? You're so creepy in this game. What happened to you, man? What happened? So let's head over here, and we can go into an empty house. Sweet. It's just what I always wanted to say. Unfortunately, this game isn't big on, you know, NPCs and that kind of stuff. Uh, let's head in here. It was a big house. That is... Is that a wall? It looks like it should be like a door, and then this white thing, instead of being a wall that goes up, should be like, you know, on the floor. Perspective. Sometimes it fails me. I have no depth perception. I'm Leela. Let's head down here. There's just the inn. And there is... A, well, that's the way out. I didn't want to go that way uh, just yet. Very nice area, though. We will be heading through that eventually. Let's check out the item shop because I'm pretty sure there's going to be upgrades here for me to purchase as well. I do have quite a bit of money, and let's see it disappear so first things first I do want to get this the silver bands for everybody I want uh, three of those those will put up my defense to 10 instead of uh, 8 as it was before I also want to purchase uh, three golden vests I don't know if I'm gonna have enough money for everything here uh, these will up my defense to uh, 34 uh, right now we're on 22 so it's quite an how do we get three? I don't know. And then I also need three raccoon hats. Uh, raccoon caps, sorry. These are going to give me 21 instead of 13 defense. Um, I think that actually is all that I needed to do here. So that looks like that is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Secret of Mana. When we come back, I'll have done a little bit of level grinding, especially on the magic, the Sylphid magic. Uh, also try to get a few uh, weapon levels across the board. Well, mostly for uh, Yancy, I believe needs the most at this point and hopefully we can have a little bit more money I'll equip all of those pretty much three things across the board and we will move on and try to find probably an ice palace hope you guys have enjoyed these parts I've been Bala Scuba I've been joined as always by Jake Sheon and Yancey hope you guys have enjoyed these parts hope you laughed hope you learned hope to see you next time thanks for watching